The Pentagon is examining objects shot out of the sky in recent days. Skyler Henry reports from the White House. The real risk to safety of flight was was a problem. White House National Security Council spokesman John Kirby fielded questions about a series of flying objects shot down by U.S. warplanes over the last three days. While we have no specific reason to suspect that they were conducting surveillance of any kind, we couldn't rule that out. The latest takedown happened Sunday over Lake Huron between Michigan and Canada. The U.S. military also shot down an object over Alaska Friday and Canada Saturday. Because of the route that they took, uh, out of an abundance of caution, we want to make sure that we have the ability to examine what these things are and p potentially what they were doing. National security officials say there is no indication that these are alien aircraft, bringing a lighter moment to Monday's White House press briefing. I, I'm just, you know, I loved E.T., the movie, but I'm, I'm just going to leave it there. Both the U.S. and Canada are taking a closer look at what's in the skies after the discovery of the Chinese surveillance balloon earlier this month. We assessed that at this time, these balloons have provided limited additive capabilities to the PRC's other intelligence platforms used over the United States. Chinese officials are accusing the U.S. of using its own surveillance balloon program to spy on China. Kirby says the U.S. is not flying balloons over China's airspace. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. Tell CBS News a salvage operation off the coast of South Carolina has recovered up to 40 feet of the Chinese balloon's antenna array from the ocean bottom.